I think I'm going to start mocking stuff back up in James Brown. Golly, this place is a mess. For right now, I think I'm just going to use this 5.3 that came out of the car as mock-up because uh, it's so disassembled right now that it's easy to just toss around. Might pull the water pump off it too. Not sure. But instead of rebuilding this, 5.3s are a dime a dozen. I think I'm just going to pull the cam out. Hopefully it's good. And over in the corner right there, I've got another 5.3 just sitting. Just sitting and waiting its turn. I'll pull the pan off and everything and check the bearings and probably pull the pistons out and gap the rings too in that one. Maybe someday down the road I'll actually build this block so I don't plan on getting rid of it right now. I like having cores laying around. I actually don't like selling stuff in general. but So first thing we got to do, I think I'm going to pull the radiator out just so it's out of the way. It doesn't get stepped on or kicked or anything like that. And then I need to cut these motor mounts out, set the engine down in there, kind of figure out where things need to be. Probably just one bolt in the trans to kind of hold it in place so that I know everything's kosher. And then I did order some plates so that I could, if I need to or decide to, I can cut this whole cross member out and make a tubular one that I can unbolt and get out of the way. And then uh, we just need to see where the motor mounts are going to want to land because these are where the old mounts were with the ICT adapter plates that moved them forward for a small block Chevy. For an LS they're going to be like back in here. So might have to go to the frame rail. We'll just have to see once we get there. So I think I'm just going to start ripping things out of here. We got this pig sitting back in the car. The oil pan looks a lot closer. I think I might still section it back like two inches or so. Right now the car is not quite full lock, 
but it's pretty darn steered because it swings on this axis right here so the bar like as you're steering it swings like this so i might section the oil pan just a little bit cut it back to here or something and notch it but looks like it'll work everything else is nice and clearanced if i would have thought you know ahead of time i could have done that with the f body pan when it was new and clean now might be a little bit more of a challenge just because there's been so much oil in it that dirty aluminum is just a pain to weld yeah it looks like the front side of the mounts on both sides will be easy they'll just go right down to here where it was welted before on that tab um i do have some spacers i do have about an inch and a half of wood underneath the engine so it's not sitting right on the crossover and i think i got it pretty squared up in the car where it used to be it might actually be a touch lower I'm not sure which that wouldn't be the end of the world for me but i do want to because this one i might bring to the frame rail here which if i do that I want to set the head on and set the exhaust on just to make sure that it's not going to get in the way of any piping that I have to run. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Because this side here, I can bring the plate straight down to this mount and weld it there, but this side I'll probably bring to this frame rail. Unless I felt like... Because another thing that I could do is weld flat plate across this and weld the tabs up here and then box it in and gusset it all. That's something else I could do. And with an eighth inch plate, it would be plenty strong enough. Yeah, and I think it might end up being stronger because this is a lot thicker material than the frame rail down here. And it'll be a lot smaller pieces that won't have as much room to flex. So this might actually be the way to go. I think I talked myself into it. And I've got a few pieces of this eighth inch plate steel. So I've got plenty of material to make it to where it's strong enough. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. I still do want to set the heads on it for a second and mock something up just to see. I think you guys will like it. All right, so everything here is looking pretty good, but with the radiator out of the way, I can mount the turbo right here in front, move the radiator somewhere else off to the side, something like that. These are all just theoretical ideas and go right into the intake. But I want to upgrade from that intake. So first, I got this. Now, as absolutely sick as this looks, it doesn't really figure out our intercooler situation. That is where this bad boy comes in. Plop you right down on top of there. Now, check that out. That looks gnarly in this car. I know that there's some people who are going to say that this setup's pretty played out, but... I think it's pretty sick. This is a Holly Low Ram, and the intercooler is from Tick Performance. Eric and the guys there are super cool. It showed up yesterday, and I just could not resist mocking it all up in the car. I did have to set the engine in anyway to mock up the motor mounts and stuff, and I was like, well, if I'm here, let's set the heads on, and if I got the heads on, let's set the intake on, and this thing is just rowdy. It is definitely not going to clear the hood. I think it would clear a Sunoco style scoop. I would have to make that myself. Or, you know, for a while I could just run without a hood. But yeah, I got the clamp welded on the throttle body to uh, give an idea on where everything's going to be. Now, before I get ahead of myself, there is still a chance I decide to put this in the Monte Carlo. But I had to see what it looks like in this thing because it's gnarly. But. Uh, I spoke to the guys at BC Racing about front suspension, and the best they can do is some single adjustables, which is a little discouraging because that was like the cheapest, easiest route. So, I don't know. We'll see. But, like I said, I had to set it on here and take some pictures and kind of drool over all this. So, I don't know how long this video is going, but I got to take off and do some other stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. I'll see you next time. Bye.